Hello, everyone. Nice to see you here to introduce our fiber optical transceiver. As we know, there are so many types of transceiver. We can classify them by different data rate, such as one gigabyte transceiver SFP, ten gigabyte transceiver ZenPack, X2, XFP, SFP plus. But do you know how many steps of transceiver has to get its life through? I mean, do you know how to make a transceiver? If you want to know more details, this video is useful for you. Okay, the first key component is the transmitter and detector of fiber module. We know sometimes we also call fiber transceiver to fiber module. In this video, you have seen just now was the transmitter for single fiber module. We normally set its BOSA for transmitting and detecting. At the same time, we can see there are nine golden pins. It's not the same length and curve in the beginning when you receive them. We have to cut them as our need, and the rest of golden skin could be saved for next usage. But for dual fiber transceiver. We need two individual parts for separate transmitting and detecting. We call TOSA for transmitting and BOSA for detecting. The next component is the PCB board with chip. We can see this golden part, which is floored in air, is the chip to be compatible with different switch equipment. Then we can see the screw nut housing cage. Pull ring and some fixing parts. So, fiber transceiver consists of above those components, and we have to check if all accessories are here before assembling modules. After knowing conventional parts of each module, now we are going to assemble one single transceiver. The first step is using one of cage part to hold the TOSA, ROSA, or BOSA, because the cage could help us confirming the correct position to fix with transmitting and detecting components with PCB board. The material for attaching this is tin stick. Using the tin gun, melting the tin stick to fix pin stain on PCB board. Then the next step is for assembling transceiver, like fixing other accessories and pull ring, finally housing it. When we get a complete assembled transceiver, it is still not working until putting EEPROM information into chip. This step we call it coding. As you can see from this video, we need a coding board, a computer, attaching coding board, and computer with USB cable. Then open the software file after inserting transceiver into the coding board to put BIM file for fiber module. Wait seconds for writing until seeing the tips when to write data. It means this transceiver has coded with EEPROM information. If you would like to read it, click button read or just plug off. It is okay. The next step of coding is labeling transceiver. It is the last second step. The labeling machine will print sticker as our request. Some necessary information you will see, such as part number, brief description. Serial number with barcode or some other extra information. The last step is packing transceiver. Different transceiver with different size, so we need using different plastic box. This video is sharing the conventional SFP size plastic box. Ten pieces for one plastic box, and eight to ten pieces of plastic box for one paper box. Eight pieces is better than ten pieces. After completing packaging, transceivers are ready well for shipment. 
Thanks for your previous time for watching. If you need more information, please contact us as below. All of our methods will do. We are sincerely expecting your voice here.